Coach Mike, and welcome to Change Your Body Boot Camps 2017 Phase 4 Challenge Week. Today's challenge workout number 4. We'll be doing the Workout A exercises. Complete 7 courses with a inverted hamstring wide reach push-up finisher as fast as possible. So 7 courses as fast as possible. This is the equipment you'll need today. You'll need a mat, you don't need a roller, you need a pair of hands, maybe a half inch or a one inch or both if you have access, if you don't make do with what you do have. You need mini bands, um, I've got the whole four pack, if you don't have mini bands, watch the video, see what I'm doing and then figure it out or do body weight uh, if you don't have a mini band. Remember you can always stop the video. You don't have to keep it running. Uh, sometimes you want it to run, sometimes you don't. You need a chair, a bench, an ottoman, a step stool, uh, etc. You need a pair of dumbbells. Dumbbell load today is 25 to 45 percent body weight. Do 10 percent of your body weight multiplied by four, or 10 percent of your body weight multiplied by two, and add uh, five percent to that. So somewhere between there, 25 to 45 percent body weight is recommended dumbbells, or just use what you have. Okay, don't get stuck. This is ideal. Use what you have. I've got the the interval timer here on my smartphone. Um, I've got my my uh, notes so I can record my sets on my workout card. I encourage you to do the same. Uh, this is gonna be an awesome workout. It's gonna take around around 40 minutes, excluding the warm up. Let's do it. Sound good? Uh, most exercises will have three levels. Some only have one. First round I'll do level one, second round level two, third round level three. You choose the best level for you. Okay, this is a do anywhere workout. It's going to be fun. It's going to be awesome. You're going to love it. I'm going to love it. Let's get going. First we have uh, side planks. Uh, course number one, abs uh, and cuff. Our core and cuff, this is known as our, our uh, cocktails and appetizers. The, today's challenge is a seven course challenge workout modeled after a seven course meal. So each course has a theme. Core and cuff is the first course modeled after cocktails and appetizers. All right, here we go. You're going to do 15 seconds per. Uh, side and per exercise in this first course. You get five seconds to switch. So level one here is a straight leg side reach. So you're pushing your hips up and down for 15 seconds. Now you have five seconds to switch and you're going to go to the other side. Okay, next exercise, mini bands. Now, I would recommend either the yellow or the green. I'll start with the yellow. Put it on your wrists, make fists, tall kneeling. External rotation at zero degrees. Okay, back to the side. Now for this set, level two, you're just gonna hold the top. If you have access to a wall, I would recommend doing it against the wall because the wall is a truth serum and it tells you if your posture is neutral. I can't fit against the wall because the thing's behind me. But you would want to have your head, both shoulder blades. That bell is a little silent. Both shoulder blades, your low back, both butt cheeks. Your feet don't have to touch the wall. Oftentimes they're forward to help your body, uh, to help your low back touch. I'm going to try the green this time. 
Now I like the band to be on the wrist and the fist so that I don't flex the wrist, or excuse me, extend the wrist. How hard are you supposed to work right now? That's a good question. Thanks for asking it. You want to work as hard as you can, but since they're fixed set, you just do the best you can. Um, I'm only going to keep track of the last set, what I do. would make the next round our last set. So level three, you could lift your top leg up and down. I never tried the blue, but let's try the blue. Okay, this is the counting round right here. What you do on this set is what we're going to record. So for me, this will be level 3B or level 4. For you, if you did side bridges, it's level 1. If you did a side plank, it's level 2. If you did leg up and down, it would be level 3 or 3A. And if you held your leg up, it would be level 3B or level 4. And you either write um, times 4 for the number of sets we did, times the number of reps, or times 15 seconds. If you're in the program, you know what that means. Level times sets times reps or time. Okay, that's the first circuit. I did green times four. I think I only got six, that's it. Alright, course number two, butts and guts. We're going to pair bear volt. Uh, course number two is the, is the soup. Uh, so we're going to pair it with Bear holds with mini band hip external rotation. So I'll be the black. You'd probably be green, blue, or black on this. Yellow will probably be too easy for most people. So green, blue, or black. We'll start with bear holds. Um, these circuits are going to go 30 seconds with 10 seconds to switch. All right, so we've got a 10 second warning. And then we go into the bear holds. Okay. So this is a fixed, there's only one level on this. But we're only going to do one level. Holding for 30 Mississippis. Halfway. Okay, take your mini band, lift your toes, lift your heel, pull it against your leg, step through the hole. Top of the calves, below the knees, one leg in, one leg out. Six. Try to get 10 in 15 seconds, then do the other. Once you get 10 each, slide it down. Bear holds. We're going to do three rounds of this, total of six sets. Halfway.
asset. Just like a seven course meal. Don't get too full too soon. Still lots more to come. A very appealing thing about the seven course workout is it hits a lot of body parts. So people feel like it's a more full workout. Um, it's actually a favorite, even though it's the longest and the most challenging. Okay, last set. Very important to not let it touch your sneaker tread. That way you don't cut the band. up. Need some AC.
Three rounds. Solid four. Go ahead and keep track of what you got. Four. Four. Okay. All right, so next is course number four. This is our entree number one, aka the seafood. You're going to do uh, course number four, sexy traps and six-pack abs, also known as entree number one, the seafood dish. Now, hopefully you don't see my seafood. You're going to need a pair of dumbbells, hang jump shrugs, paired with high plank marches, feet shoulders width apart, hands on top of your thighs. Wrist curled, down, two, three, to mid chin, stand, squeeze your butt. Oh, excuse me, wrong exercise. Top of the knees, hips push forward, calf raise, shrug. Hips push back, hips push forward, calf raise, shrug. This is level one, hips push back, hips push forward, calf raise, shrug. Hips push back, hips push forward, calf raise, shrug. Last one. Hips push back, hips push forward, calf raise, shrug. Okay, next, high plank march, 10 per side. One, one, two, two, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven. Round two, level two. Hang jump shrug without leaving the ground. Hang position, reset. When you feel your hamstrings, your balls of your feet, jump. Shoulders, hamstrings, balls of your feet, jump. Round three, level three. Hang jump shrug and leave the ground. Land soft, reset.
Okay, four sets each. Okay, I'll take that. All right, course number five, show muscles and go muscles, AKA entree number two, the chicken dish. We're gonna pair goblet rear foot elevated split squats with bent over rows. Band bent over rows. So let's get set. You gotta fold your mat up to kneel down and touch. We need your bands front and center. Alright. Hands behind your head. Touch your knee. Touch your heel. Knee, heel. Okay. These are 15 10, so 15 seconds, 10 seconds to rest. As many reps as you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. All right, band. This is new. You haven't seen this in a while. So, put your bands in the arches of your feet, crisscross your hands, thumbs down, sit tall, toe palm up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, level two. Slide back to your chair. One leg's in front, one leg's down. Hands by your side or behind your head. Stand. Touch your knee. Stand. Touch your knee. Weights on your front heel. This is uncomfortable on your back foot, but it's also uncomfortable because you're very tight and it's training one leg or targeting one leg. Okay, level two, seated, band row with rotation, feet together, grab short, sit tall, thumbs down, toe palms up, thumbs down, toe palms up. Six each. I got four. 
Not so great. Okay. Course number six, go muscles and show muscles. AKA entree number three, the meat. This is the dumbbell RDL, Romanian deadlift. Your go muscles paired with half kneeling overhead presses. Your show muscles. levels for this. Level one are mobility. Level two are progression up. Hands behind your head. Hips push back. Hips push forward. Hips push back. Hips push forward. Okay. Now, put your head on the wall. Your upper back, your low back. Reach to overhead pull. Reach to overhead pull. Keep your low back flat. Now to the other side.
You're doing an up and down pyramid. Two exercises. Inverted hamstring to a Y reach. One, two, three, four, five. Four, three, two, one. Right leg, left leg. Ready? One on the right. One on the left. Push-ups. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Twelve, nine, six, three. So three. Now plank to push up. Down. Up. Plank to push up. That's level one. Two reps here. One. Plank the push ups are level two. And this time it's for six reps. Regular push ups. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three inverted hamstring. One, two. elevated push-ups. Nine times. Again, you can do plank, push-ups, regular push-ups, or feet elevated. Four. push -ups. Now we're coming down for inverted hamstring.
Four push-ups. Nine push-ups. Two inverted hamstrings. Six pushes. Do the math. All right, it took me seven minutes, eleven seconds. Did do the finishing. The goal is to do it in less than six. Did not beat the finishing goal. At the challenge where I got number four. Seven courses as fast as possible in 37 minutes and seven seconds. It's pretty good. Please like this video. It's a sign of encouragement. Comment below. Let me know how you did, what you think, what you liked, disliked. Please subscribe so you get the videos when they come out. And please share this to help me grow the audience. Thanks for watching. Hoorah. Have a great day.